Welcome to Sports Card once again. So in our last video, we took a look at three the three what I would consider goats of the sports card, basketball card market in the US and China, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and LeBron James. And we looked at what the difference was between the market in China for these three players and the market in the US. And we noticed that often the cards in China were actually selling for about double the price. And this isn't true across all cards. A lot of cards, especially young rookie players I've noticed, actually go for quite a bit less in China than they do in the US. But those three players always go for a lot more. So the last video we kind of dove into that a little bit. In this video, Video, we're going to do a similar kind of dive, but this time focusing on Chinese players who have played in the NBA and see how their card values compare on Card Hobby, one of the most common sports card platforms in China, and recent eBay comps. So we'll start off with Yao Ming. All right, starting off with Yao Ming here, we got the 2002 2003 Tops Rookie. So just a raw card. Looks like it's in pretty good condition, but it is just raw. As you can see here, it sells for about $13 on Card Hobby, which is the most common sports card platform in China. It's about $13, so pretty good. Now, if we look over on eBay, four bucks here. Okay, here's some graded ones, two bucks here, five bucks here. So generally, they're, they're between like about two and six dollars or say, maybe you could say four dollars on average. Whereas in China, they sell for about $13. So that's about a three times even more, yeah, about a three time markup. All right, next up, we got the 2004-05 Fleer Skybox Hoops, sorry, Supreme Court jerseys. So this one here is going for about 22, almost $22. Raw again. Now, it might be good to actually compare uh, like graded versions because, you know, there's less, there's less possibility for a bad quality card to come up in the comps. It's a little bit harder to find some of these in China. So here we are looking on eBay, we can see six dollars five dollars looking through here not a whole lot of comps but i'd say it's about a, it's about a six dollar card in the u.s and about a 22 dollar card in china so again more than a three times markup all right here we have the 2007 2008 fleer feel the game card so this one again raw has a little patch in there i don't know if it's game worn or anything uh, this one goes for about 17 dollars here in china recently at least. Yao Ming cards sell pretty well here. If you look on eBay, here's one, let's see, about 10 bucks. Not a whole lot of comps, but we'll call it a $10 card. So $10 to $17, less of an extreme markup, but still a little bit of a markup there. Now we have, this is the 1819 Prism Silver. So it's just the base card, but it's the silver version of it. it goes for about $16 here. So quite a lot actually, raw. Look over on eBay, we can see here's a $9. That one's not sure exactly, $375. So if you were to take an average of here, I mean, it goes between $250 and nine or so. So if we were to say it's a $5 card or $6 card, you know, you're still having about a three times markup to the sale in China of about $16. And next we have the 1819 Court Kings Ruby, numbered out of 99, which is going for about 30 bucks here. I do like that card. Court Kings I always kind of like. And this one again is numbered out of 99, so it's pretty rare. If we look over on eBay, we can see this one going for, here's one for $4, it was sold quite a while ago, but $4. This one here's $10. So it goes a lot less. Oh, is that $10 one? Actually, that wasn't even it. So yeah, so that one went from $4 up to $30. So that was <laughs> incredible, like a seven times increase. All right, so Yao Ming, clearly, similar to the, to the, to the goats, goes up in value significantly. Let's look at a few others. For some of these players, I couldn't find quite as many comps, so I don't have as many as I do for Yao Ming. So the next one here is Wang Zhizhir. And Wang Zhizhir was the first NBA player from China. Uh, so this is his 2000-2001 SP Authentic Rookie FX Auto, which you can see here sells in China for about $515. Amazing, $515 for a guy who played in the NBA for, I don't know, maybe 80 games total, something like that. If we look over on eBay, this one still goes for about 350 and I'm guessing from a Chinese buyer. Sometimes I find these higher, more expensive cards, the Chinese buyers will buy them on eBay because it's worth it to pay that extra shipping cost. If it's a mid-range card or a lower range card, it, they oftentimes won't be spending that much. Okay, next up we have the 2003-2004 Upper Deck Glass Game Gear. Goes in for about 50 bucks here on Card Hobby. This would just be from his, his third season. Clippers there looks like. 
This one goes for, here we go, what, 40, 30, 32, 30 to 40 range. So there's a bit of a markup to the price in China, though less so than some of the Yao Ming's. And then here we got a 2003 four upper deck base. So this one's going here. This is just a real simple base card from his third year. It sells for more than $5. You know, I, I couldn't even find this one actually on eBay because it is just a really simple base card. You could probably get this one for 10 cents because it's just a common. So definitely a markup. But it seems to me overall that the, the markups on Wang Zhizhi are, are not quite so extreme as Yao Ming. All right, next we look at Yi Jianlian, and this is his 2008-9 Topps Hardwood Mahogany. So this one goes for about $18. If we look over on eBay, can't get a whole lot, but we see one for a dollar. Now, I, this is numbered out of 75, by the way, so I have a feeling this one would have sold for more if it hadn't been in an auction, but it had been in a, hot, a buy it now. As an auction, nobody was looking for it, so it sold for a dollar. So that was a pretty significant difference there. Uh, this is just a base card from Tops, uh, Upper Deck, rather. So this one, again, this is just a base. So this one ha went for $11, and it even has clearly stated corner damage. So the fact that a, a base card you can buy this one for 99 cents on eBay that looks in better condition. You could probably even buy this one for 10 cents. And $11 as a base card. So this was the 0809 SP Authentic base card. Goes for about eight bucks for just a base. If you were to look over on eBay for this one, you will, we'll, we'll see there's only one comp to compare it to because it's not selling much, but it is just a $1 card. So from $1 up to $8. Now we have the, this is the Signature Series. Um, this is 0809, I believe. Yeah, the top Signature Series numbered out of 6,225. Goes for about $174. It's not a super short print, that's for sure. It does have the autograph. Over here on eBay, you can see 79, 80. Uh, you'll see as, as low as 45, as much as 90. But I would say, you know, maybe $80 is a good is a good place to say its value, even though it will occasionally go much less like those two. Um, but still, good good double price. Okay, and the last player I was going to look up was Joe Chi. Um, but actually, I, I found that there's not a whole lot to say about that one, so I'm going to I'm going to skip it over it. He didn't have the same impact in, in the Chinese market. His base cards don't really go for anything. I think probably the guess is because by the time he became an NBA player, basketball cards were already very common in China, so there was not a uh, you know the, not a big market for those. When when some of these other players, when Wang Zhizhi, Yao Ming, and even Yi Jianlian entered the league, basketball card collecting wasn't nearly as big as it is now. So a lot of those cards go for a higher because there's just less on the market. But anyway, I hope you found this this exploration interesting. Um, if, if you're interested in me doing any other dives, dives like this about anybody in particular or young rookies or anything like that, let me know. I'm always looking to try to create content that's useful for you guys. This one was actually more because it was useful for me, <laughs> but uh, I thought it would also make for, for a good video.